Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the third. But you know, the timing is fluid. A lot of people don't get that. Most of you do, some don't. These, these readings typically happen for me anywhere from the day of to, uh, I would say, three or four days later, sometimes a week later. So let's just see what comes up. So what do we have? What do we have for a message? What kind of message do I need to deliver today? About to get started on my second week of December readings. I will be starting on those next. What do we have? First week is already done if you want to check out that playlist. What do we have for a message today? Queen of Swords reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. Interesting. Let's get some more cards. Seven of Pentacles reversed. <clears throat> Eight of Wands. Messages. There's going to be some messages going back and forth. It may not be... Uh, you know... It may not be pretty. Um, seven of Pentacles reverse. Lack of investment. This is dissatisfied. Somebody's dissatisfied. They're not happy. All right. We got somebody here not happy. They're not happy with the situation at all. There's no growth. This is a dead end. Uh, I don't know if may, you know when you get the Queen of Swords in reverse. I don't know if there's some sort of punishment coming. You know, could be verbal. <laughs> Uh, we have somebody here that is is probably um, doesn't care, insensitive, you know. Um, hmm. King of Wands reverse, interesting. So angry. Somebody's definitely gonna angry. They're angry. They're upset. Uh, King of Wands reversed. Unrealistic. Somebody's being unrealistic. And they may be up against a very stiff competitor. Just saying. Uh, King of Wands reversed. That is, that is somebody who acts impulsively. May be stupid. May do something, you know, unrealistic. Uh, very conceited. We have a conceited individual here that is probably hurting another person you know and it could go either way I mean there's definitely some nasty words being said by the looks of things Five of Cups reversed. Now, there's some sort of grief here. Some prolonged grief. Somebody's grieving. They're grieving over a loss. They've probably been grieving it over or over it for quite some time. And they're having a hard time controlling themselves. There's lack of control here. And it's because of pain, obviously. They may have experienced some sort of loss and there's some sort of regrets. There could be some extreme regrets. We could have a really a witch here. This is a witch. This is somebody that is uh, very mean-spirited, that is very greedy and selfish, perhaps that has persuaded somebody to do something and now there's some regret, regrets. Extreme regrets. Moving on, going someplace. Hmm, interesting. We got somebody here that is is going away. I don't know if they've if they've passed away. I mean, uh, hmm. yeah, I don't know what's going on here, but somebody's leaving. They're going away, or they're or they're gone. 
They're gone. It's it's too late. There's it's too late. Something may be too late. Like I said, this is a dead end. Interesting. I did say that. Now this is messages coming. There is a message or messages that are coming. Things are going to happen fast. This is forward movement. Things happening fast. There's no growth here. It's time to go. This is a dead end. The season is over. It really, really is. Somebody's been dealing with a uh, wicked individual. This person is like evil. Male or female. Doesn't matter what sign it is. I'm not sure if we have a wicked stepmother and a father, because this could be the wicked stepmother and this could be the father. I'm not sure. Could be an it could be an ex, could be it could be an ex. Could be an ex-wife or an ex-girlfriend, whatever. Um somebody definitely has some serious regrets. They have regrets about Investing in something that wasn't fruitful. That didn't grow. And it, and I'm not sure. It looks like it's too late. It looks like it's already dead. Somebody acted impulsively. They may have moved too fast. They did something without thinking with that King of Wands reverse and the Queen of Swords reverse. Maybe it was a couple. I don't know if it was a couple or two people or one person. Somebody has done something without thinking. They moved very, very fast. They, they, they you know, may have thought they were going to get a specific outcome, and that's not the case. Hmm. Oh, there's been some dishonesty here. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. And they're feeling powerless. Maybe their power is being taken away. There's a lack of communication. There's miscommunication. There's been some sort of uh, dishonesty as well. Somebody is regretting not telling the truth. They are. You know, that's serious regrets. But I feel like there's a turning point of some sort as well with that Five of Cups reverse. It's like this person has some sort of extreme regrets. They may want to let bygones be bygones. They may want some sort of forgiveness, but they may not know how to communicate. You know, they may feel like it's too late. You know, like there's no opportunity left. Like it's too late. Like it's too late. I just want to keep saying that. But there is some sort of messaging here. So I'm wondering what this is. This is news or messages going back and forth, perhaps. Um, there could be an opportunity. There could be an opportunity. Nine of Wands reverse. But so we got an individual that is avoiding challenge. They have great personal fear. There's definitely some hard feelings. And there's an individual that is very distrustful. And I'm going to change this a little bit. We could have somebody that has been hurt very badly by an egotistical, impulsive individual that moved too fast. And, you know, now they have hard feelings. There could be some hard feelings. Maybe that could just be fear. Fear of all the hard feelings. Somebody is... Um, overwhelmed with fear by the looks of things they're overwhelmed with fear of you know communicating or something or going down a path they have some serious guard up you know a serious uh well it's a guard it's like a fence around them i'm not going to let this person in because you don't want to own up to the truth whoever they're dealing with whoever they have extreme regrets over is harsh is harsh. It's hard to love. It's hard to deal with because they only accept the truth. And, you know, that can be hard to deal with when, you know, you can't communicate because you're going to have to tell the truth, you know. So I know I'm changing it a little bit, but that's the way it goes. And I'm just telling the whole story. Somebody has made a poor choice. You know, they have extreme regrets. If somebody uh, acted impulsively. 
they may be hoping to let bygones be bygones and move on, but it's too late or they feel like it's too late. It's too late. You know, they feel like it's too late. There's a lack of confidence. Fear is great with this card and this card. Ex extreme fear. So he's somebody that doesn't have a lot of confidence. They may be naive. They uh, lacking courage. Uh, wants to focus on the future, wants to get past this, but cannot truthfully open up. Somebody just can't truthfully open up. They can't open up because they have extreme fear. Okay, they're very, very guarded. A wheel of Fortune, interesting. Now that this is a change of course, a, a destined, fated event. I wonder if there's been some kind of communication or there's going to be. Because this is communication, it's movement, it's it's opportunity, it really is. And this is uh, positive movement forward. Life is always changing. A change is in the air. A change is in the air. There is a change in the air. It's time for a change, a positive change. This is good luck. Being at the right place at the right time may have uh, it feels like changed somebody's perception or something. May have made somebody think, because this is a thinker, or I don't know, that they should invest but there's a lack of investment. The Wheel of Fortune is positive change. It's, it's good luck. It's uh, headed in the right direction. It's the end of a cycle. Moving forward. There's a lack of faith, though, with that seven reverse. Somebody has doesn't have a faith to, to uh, make a move. They have no faith. But I feel like there's... There's a positive outcome. This is positive. There's a positive outcome if they do. If they communicate. If they take action. You know. If they make their move. Whatever it is. This, this Eight of Wands is movement. It is triumphant news arriving very, very quickly. That uh, is. And it's a positive outcome. Positive change is coming. Somebody may be moving, they may be moving, they may be moving away from some, from an egotistical, lying uh, SOB, just saying. They may be moving away, and they're moving into a better space, they're moving, and, and things are happening fast by the looks of things, because this is fast. There's no growth here, there's no reason to stay. It's time to relocate. Somebody may be relocating, it's time to go, it definitely is, it's time to go. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Let's get one more card right next to that. I feel like we have a money grabbing individual, somebody that is money hungry or they or they don't have enough money. It can go either way with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have somebody here that is very greedy, very very selfish, um, very very stubborn, jealous, possessive. Uh, bad with money. You got somebody here that is bad with money. Um, I feel like this person that is bad with money, um, or there's jealousy issues here. There's jealousy. They're seizing. Somebody is seizing a new opportunity. They're taking a new opportunity. They could be dealing with an individual that is very, I feel like greedy. Somebody's dealing with a greedy individual that, you know, this person doesn't really take care of business wastes resources, is unhealthy in some way, you know, is, is, um, uh, rigid and stubborn, you know, somebody is dealing with a rigid, stubborn individual, and I think they're about to change their course, I think they've, they've been ignoring an opportunity, they have, 
with that for but now they're taking a new opportunity after protecting themselves somebody has been protecting him themselves a lot avoiding challenge but they have a new opportunity they may have been at the right place at the right time and they ignored the opportunity and it feels like now they're going to take the opportunity and i feel like they're going to let go of somebody that they have been uh dealing with you know they've been dealing with somebody that has kept them stuck you know there could be this person may be very boring with the Queen of Pentacles reverse, no, no ambition, no drive, you know, uh, lacking. Um, there's no excitement, you know. There's no excitement. Very, very. Uh, not much to offer. Put it that way. There's somebody here doesn't have much to offer, but things are about to change. Because that Wheel of Fortune wouldn't be here. That is a positive change. Taking a new opportunity. Somebody's going to be taking a new opportunity. But there's been some sort of, um, with that nine of wands reverse, we have somebody that has experienced some sort of bad luck. They may have gotten themselves involved with an individual that, you know, was selfish or didn't, couldn't provide, you know, couldn't provide didn't have any money, you know, was looking for money. This is, what is that called? Um, a fortune hunter. You know, somebody may have gotten themselves involved with a person that was just with them for money, you know? Money grabbing, that kind of thing. A money grabbing individual. It's unfortunate. But now there's a change in the air. There's a change in the air. There's an opportunity for... Uh, well, this is seizing a new opportunity for love that has been ignored, okay? Seeing a new opportunity. So somebody does have a new opportunity, but they're going to have to be grounded and they're going to have to be realistic and they're going to have to take a action, you know? But, we, but the, the, there's so much lack of courage. We have somebody here that doesn't have much courage um, and they need to find it. They do need to find it. But anyway... Um, Positive change is coming. Expect to receive a message from somebody. Um, that is very fearful. I feel like this person is fearful. They're probably fearful of rejection. But they want, they see an opportunity and they really, really, really want it. Somebody, you know, they, they really want it. Now they see an opportunity and they see an opportunity for love and they want it. And life is always changing with the Wheel of Fortune. That's the Wheel of Life in constant motion. So positive change is coming. Somebody's about to receive a message or messages uh, from, <laughs> well, like I said, somebody that is very fearful. <laughs> Anyhow, this person is fearful. They are, they're, it's almost like they're expecting um, trouble with the Nine of Wands. Okay, they're expecting a, maybe they're expecting a rejection, you know, um, but there's lack of, there's lack of courage, but I, I, I honestly feel like, you know, that Wheel of Fortune, let's see, ah, King of, they're just going to do it. They're just going to do it. Somebody's going to do it. I was going to say, I think that they're, they're going to take action. The King of Wands just does it, you know. And I said, and it's interesting because I said gets a new perspective earlier, but I didn't really have the card. This is a new perspective. Seeing things differently. Somebody is getting a new perspective. They're starting to see something, you know, differently. Okay. We have somebody here that is just going to do it now. It's like they get this idea, they get this thought, and they just do it. So be prepared to receive a message from somebody that gets this notion to do something. They, and it's almost like they, they may see something as a reward because the Wheel of Fortune is a reward. You know, I'm going after my reward. I'm going after happiness because the Wheel of Fortune is fortune. It's happiness. So we have a very wise individual, very, very smart, very intelligent. Um, this is about to take, you know... Um, action okay the king of swords is somebody that 
has a conversation even though it's difficult. So I think there is going to be a conversation. I do. With, whether it's texting or what. It could be texting. It's a fated change, of course. It is. Things are about to change. Somebody's about to receive some... I don't know. I feel it's like communication from an individual who has that fear get in the way. But I feel like this person has gotten to a better place or they're heading to a better place or they're, you know, going to find their ability to have this conversation, whatever it is. I also feel like there's some, it's going to be challenging. It's gonna, with the, when you get the King of Swords, it's challenging. Accepting a challenge as well. Somebody is going to be, you know, stepping up to the plate, put it that way. This is somebody who knows what they want. Seriously, this is not somebody who is wishy-washy. This is somebody who knows what they want and they go for it. They see something beautiful. Because on that Wheel of Fortune card, I don't care what anybody says, that's the Empress. So they see somebody beautiful. They see something or something very beautiful. They see an opportunity for growth. They see an opportunity for love and they want it. So they're going to take action. So be prepared. Um, yeah. That's what I got. Whoever this person is. This person um, has thought about it. They've thought about it and they've thought about it quite a bit. And I feel like this person is ready for a change. This is ready for a change. It really is. I mean, the Eight of Wands is ready and this is change. They're ready for positive change in their life. The only way to have that positive change is to just do it, is to just go for it. And they, they definitely see an opportunity, but they're deal they may be dealing with somebody that is very... Um, we could have somebody here that likes their independence, very much likes their independence, doesn't want to give up their independence. Very stubborn. Very, very stubborn individual, you know? But we also have somebody here who knows their value. Because if you think about the Empress, and I think it's the Empress on that Wheel of Fortune card, the Empress knows her value. Okay, this is somebody who knows her value and will not settle. Will not settle for anything less than she deserves. And maybe that's why she hasn't been investing. So anyway, be prepared to hear a message or to receive some messages or something from somebody that is interested or somebody that has something to say. Okay? They may just want to end a cycle. Okay? Because this Wheel of Fortune is ending a cycle. They may want to end a cycle and move on for peace. This could be closure. Okay? Anyhow, um, be prepared to hear a message about a change. Okay, it could be a change of heart, and because when you get the when you get uh, the Queen of Swords in reverse, that could be a change of heart. Somebody may have a change of heart. There could also be some challenging information coming. You know, I, I'm just changing this up. This is thousands of people that watch this. That somebody has, you know, I'm not sure if somebody's going to pass away or not, but that could certainly be the case. There, somebody could be receiving challenging information that you know a cycle has ended and somebody has moved on. I'm just being honest with you. So anyway, um, we have an individual here as well, I know I keep going, that has a chip on their shoulder. Somebody that has a very big chip on their shoulder. Okay, this is somebody that is very, very, very egotistical and refuses to compromise. I feel like this person that refuses to compromise is, is going, it feels like this person is going to be left behind. I don't know what that means for you. We've got somebody here who wants to have their own way. Very, very, very disagreeable. You know, if you think about that, I, and I feel like there's, it's the end of the season with that person. Good luck.